Okay, quick disclaimer, before you guys get going on how I'm just a terrible person for doing this to a perfectly good Miata engine, this was a weekend project, just a fun weekend thing that we wanted to do. The car is getting sold to Ben on Monday to be parted out regardless of what state it was in. I went ahead and checked the compression for him, found out the compression was pretty low, and he's not willing to sell a motor unless it has like excellent compression. So the motor was essentially gonna go in the trash either way. And that's when we decided, okay, let's live out our childhood dreams of seeing if this is gonna work. Because who doesn't wanna know? if you can use syrup as engine oil. I certainly wanna know. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there before you guys get all up in arms about this. It was fun, we had fun, it's over now. Enjoy. <laughs> this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we need the biggest one we can get and like a bunch of them. Log cabin, no fructose corn syrup. Do we need no high fructose or should we get high fructose? I think we should get high. I should know this. Yeah, one quart's uh, 32 ounces. Well, this is yeah. 1.8, two quarts, so we need two of these. You sure you want log cabin brand? Yeah. No, I you're right. We got to we got we got to get Aunt Jemima. Which yeah. one? Oh, here we go. 36 Lundry. ounce jumbo size. You need like four of them. A little less than four of those. <laughs> we have our syrup. I'm eating. Eating, trying to get the oil pressure sensor out. Off with his hand. We want to check oil pressure normal oil in it then check oil pressure with the uh, aunt jemima syrup in it it's kind of in a weird spot oh auto is so graciously uh doing the oil pressure sensor he still hasn't got the stock one out yet we've resorted to removing the oil filter in an effort to get to the oil pressure sender with channel locks because oh, it's it. stripped it. oh okay this is what it's taking to get the oil pressure sender off Keegan is uh, going yeah. to great length. You need me to hold your legs? No. So we are now making a wrench that is like a crow's foot just to get the oil pressure sensor off. This is our tool to get the oil pressure sensor off. This is probably the bane of Keegan's existence right now. Nah, it's all right. Fed worse. Yes, pieces are right here. All right, Keegan got the new sender in. There's our nylon hose that oh, we can pump maple that. syrup out yep, of. <laughs> so now I got to change the injectors. Swap to regular fuel lines, and then we'll check the oil pressure with the oil in it, and then we'll drain the oil. Interesting observation. The acetone ate the O-ring up. See how much bigger it is now? And it, it's deteriorating. Good to know. Don't use acetone as fuel if you don't want to eat your O-rings. But this is our oil pressure. Let's see, just under 50 at idle. up to about 60 or so 65 this is with regular oil so we're going to check it with the maple syrup as well that was the whole point of the gauge but we got to get this thing running right first something's wrong i've had this tool forever i've never used it well first time for everything all right we are draining the oil we know we have good oil pressure we fixed the running issue it was a bad injection ah it's hot it's so hot <laughs> that is very very hot Ah, warm, warm oil bath. Always amazing. I was like, we gotta change the filter, but we don't. Just gonna use the same one. Aunt Jemima engine oil, here we go. Oh yeah, we gotta taste some here. A little bit. Ready? How'd that taste? Like syrup. Think it's gonna work? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of buttery. It is, it does have some butter to it. <laughs> Aunt Jemima would be proud. <laughs> Man, you cheating, this has got oil in it. Butter oil syrup. Butter oil syrup. So how many of these do we need, Keegan? Did you do the math for me? Liters? One uh, liter? Probably, probably all four that we get. 
<laughs> just overfill the crap out of it. I don't think the motor's gonna care about the level of maple syrup. Which we'll do some extra just to help us out, help our Can we case. like leave all these in here? Yes, while absolutely. <laughs> just like shove them in. You gotta give some to the header. Not that much, you're crazy. <laughs> it's gonna smell delicious. Are we ready for this, guys? I think so. All right. How much did you put in? Final, all four. All four. Oh, this, it'll be a little overfilled I for mean, the donuts. A breather, a crankcase, that way it, uh, it doesn't slosh around too much. <laughs> We're really doing this. Where's Keegan? He can't, he needs, hurry up. We're about to do this. I mean, we were going to put the fronts on the back. Should we do that? I think we should do that because that one's going to blow. Yeah, so we'll just jack it up one side at a time. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that real quick. We'll be right back. So this and thing then, has aluminum lug nuts in the previous send them to the crowd. owner or whoever yeah. whoever put these oh wheels on. Gosh. Holy cow. Torqued them to like 120 foot pounds. Maybe more. The way our steer tires are completely on wire because it's great. Because then we can get like two more extra donuts out of it. <laughs> what do we got here? Grab it up. So got a little oil taste in it, but oh, I didn't even look at it. <laughs> it's okay, you can taste it again. <laughs> no, 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 it's just no, over it's cool. actually good. <laughs> oh man, no, it's just the syrup. It's just the syrup. It's a little ticking. It's definitely ticking. It's not that bad. It's just the lifters. The front tires are hard. Like you can't. I can't even like physically steer around a turn. It just pushes. <laughs> Can we just steer for brake fluid? A couple more donuts, unless. Taylor, in front. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why we change sides. They're getting worse from understeering so bad. <laughs> <laughs> No. 
Sounds healthy. Do we call it at that? What? Do we call it successful? I think it works. Yeah, I mean, it's still running. So. I mean, it's still running. I'm gonna do another donut thing. Change the oil right now. The syrup. Change the syrup. Change, change the syrup. Yeah. <laughs> My mind's blown. Change the syrup to oil. I think that might be uh, getting close to being seized there. Yeah. It's probably pretty hot. We'll let it, we'll let it sit. We'll drain it. Well, we'll drain it and then we'll let it sit and then we'll see if it's still alive. This is going to suck. Yeah. Don't you get hot sugar stuff on you. It's going to stick. Okay. I got an idea. Oh. It's kind of clear. Taste it. I don't see any metal shavings. Why no. is this so little coming out? <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Maybe it's <laughs> like one, one bottle. Yeah, I mean, if the oil is, you know, high 200s, the water's gone. Is it hot, Taylor? Is it a touch? Yes, yeah, very hot. Like, burn your finger hot. Look like burned really good. So all the water boiled out of it. <laughs> I started to. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of it? Apparently when they make this stuff, they, they do get yes, the Keegan. water out of it by boiling it, I guess, and it turns into like crystallized sugar when you get it hot enough. Like if you go... So we have crystallized sugar in the... Well, I mean... Hopefully the... Uh, break some of that down. Shh. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about that's that? A secret. That's a secret. That's Why the is next, that a secret? I don't understand. That's the next video. We, we can't can tell them what it is yet. But does it have bearing? Oh, it smells though? great. Yeah, it smells nice. <laughs> it smells refreshing. I don't see any metal stuff hey, in it. The cap, the cap kind of looks like, you know, ethanol. Oh, it has water, yeah. water content. Oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was the results of the syrup test. I don't know if the motor's trash or not. I will update you guys at a later date, but we have another test to perform. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Say bye, Keegan. You got to point the camera at Keegan so he can say bye. He's over there. That's Wes. <laughs> All right, we were going to pump this like let the motor run, take this off and pump it onto uh, like a waffle or something, but we forgot.